Okay, you guys, notice how I added Ayu to this beautiful, he's looking out at this beach. This is what you're gonna learn how to do um, by using the green screen. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna find your image. So I'm just gonna do this again with Ayu. So here he is. I just used one that I already had, so that's why it's nothing like exciting or special, but it still looks pretty cool. And what I'm gonna do is I want Ayu to be a background image. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have that photo in my downloads. So there it is. And I'm gonna click on it. I'm just gonna drag it into my Photoshop. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna create that background layer because I need this um, lock right here in order for it to work, okay? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on select just like with our um, silhouette activity and you're gonna choose color range. You wanna make sure that this fuzziness is on 40, okay? And then I have this eyedropper selected and I'm just gonna click in this green screen. So now what I want you guys to notice is right in here, it's not all selected because notice how this green is like a range of greens. So I wanna get all of that background white here. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm just gonna kinda click close to IU, like close to his body and you'll notice here how I'm getting that whole background to be whiter and whiter. Okay, so there I am. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click okay. All right, so here I have IU and he's selected. So the next thing that I wanna do is I want to expand that selection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to select, then I'm gonna go down to modify, and I'm gonna choose expand. Now right now I have it, I want it to expand by two. So if you have a different number, you just take it out and replace it with the number two and then click okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually, we're gonna feather this selection. So again, we're gonna go up to select and we're gonna go to select and mask. Okay, so now this look, should look familiar to you because it's a lot like our silhouette. Um, assignment and you're going to go down to feather and you're going to change this to one you want it feathered by one then you need to make sure that this output setting that it says selection here so if you don't see that if you click on this little triangle okay that will um, open that drawer for you and you'll make sure that it's a selection and then you're going to click on okay all right, so now I need to create a layer out of this. So I'm gonna click on this lock and I'm gonna drag it down into the trash can. All right, then I'm simply going to cl click delete on my keyboard and voila, there it is. So that's super cool. So now I want to deselect this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to select and I'm gonna choose deselect. Okay, so now that I've deselected this, what I wanna do is I want to, if I zoom in, so I zoom in by pressing Command Plus, see how that zooms in? And what I want you to notice here is I have like a reflection of green on IU, and so for some people, it'll be like in their hair. So his hair is pretty like, you know, you can't really see the green through it, but there might be some people who you can see the green through it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna add a hue saturation adjustment layer. So you do that by clicking on here and then you go down, it's like a circle, like a half filled circle and click on hue saturation. Okay, and then I'm gonna choose this master and I'm gonna change that to greens. Okay, and then I'm gonna get this eyedropper tool and I'm gonna click on it. Now, if you don't see that eyedropper, you just have to scroll down a little so you can find it. So again, I have greens then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select that area of green okay and then I'm gonna change grab this saturation and I'm gonna turn it down and what you'll notice is you see that there's not as much green anymore on this photo okay so now that I've done that I need to merge my layer so I'm gonna close this and notice how I have my two layers here so I'm gonna hit the shift, I'm gonna, this one selected, I'm gonna hold the shift key down and I'm gonna click on it. And then I'm gonna hold the control key down, I'm gonna click again and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna merge these layers. Okay, so now I have that one layer again. I'm gonna zoom out by pressing command minus. And what I want you to notice here 
is I have my text tool selected, so I need to make sure that I choose my select tool or my move tool. I'm gonna click on IU and notice I can move him around and I can move him anywhere, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him in that beach picture. So I have that beach picture back here, okay? I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna drag it down into Photoshop. And here it is, it's made a new layer over here. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. One way you can do this is, like this picture is probably really big compared to that picture. So if I click and drag this up into that layer and then let go of it, notice it's like, I use white shirt. We don't want that, okay? So you could shrink it down, but I found an easier way to do it is you go file and export, and you're gonna export it as a PNG, and I'm gonna call this um, I'm just gonna call it self. It's gonna go into my downloads. It's a PNG, so that means that that background is going to stay transparent, okay? So I click Save, all right? And then you'll notice that here it is in my downloads. I'm gonna go back over to that beach picture, and I'm simply gonna click here, and I'm gonna bring IU in, okay? And then I'm gonna shrink him down so that he becomes one of these people at the beach. I'd have to shrink him really small and hit return. But like, see, now he's in there. He's at the beach with all these people. Okay, so that's how easy it is. I hope you guys have fun doing this assignment.